Hey, hello everybody, this is Technoli, and today we're going to do that video where you can make your own Mac OS boot installer on Windows. So for all you guys that don't have a Mac, you'll be able to make your USB bootloader on Windows. So you just install it, or if you've already got it installed on your computer now, and you're going to Hackintosh that computer, then you could use this video to make your USB stick. But the only thing is, when you go to install the Mac OS software, you want to make sure you're on a separate hard drive for Mac OS from your Windows drive, okay? So uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead and restart this computer. And I'm going to go into the BIOS because I want to show you guys a setting you need to make. Hit that delete key. Okay. Now, what you'll do is just go over to boot. And right here, you want to choose your first boot option as the Mac OS, which is that UEFI OS. And then the Windows is the second boot option. So now, when I go out of here, I start my computer and it'll come up right here I can choose what drive I want to boot from so if I want to boot from my Mac OS I hit that design air IGPU if I want to boot from Windows I just hit enter and that's it so it's real simple when you have your Windows on one hard drive and your Mac OS on another okay so Let's get started with this. Okay guys, so I'll have in the description below and on my website these files that you're going to need to download to start the process of building your USB stick. Of course, first of all, we're going to need a USB stick, at least 8 gigabytes or higher. And uh, what we want to do, first of all, is just go over to the stick which right here USB drive and just format that thing format it to NTFS and whatever size it is and just click format that way we've got a nice clean stick we don't have any weird um, file system on it or anything like that that's gonna mess you up make sure you're not using a USB that's got stuff on it or you're gonna because you're gonna erase it Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Gib Mac OS. Just double click on it. And then I want you guys to go ahead and go up here to View and choose File Name Extensions. Just put a check mark. Now you can see what these extensions are on these different files. So I want to go to the Gib Mac OS dot bat and I want to right click and run as administrator. Say yes. Now it's asking us if we want to download Python because it didn't find it. And this fe feature didn't used to work, but it's working now. So you can just say yes. And it's downloading Python. Now here, we're going to go ahead and press R to go to the next menu and enter. And it's re-scanning for some products. Okay, so now what we want to do is look for Catalina, because I want to do Catalina, and it'll have this full install next to it. So right here, number four is macOS Catalina 10.15.4 full install. So go ahead and press four, hit enter. Okay, now it's going to download just the recovery package. Okay, so this doesn't take too long. Now, a lot of you guys have gotten into trouble when you're trying to do a Windows bootloader install where when it gets up to installing the Mac OS, it says you don't have a connection to the internet. And if you don't have your internet plugged in or if Wi-Fi is all you have, then you're going to be in trouble because you need to have your ethernet cable plugged into this thing for it to download the rest of the installation. Okay? So unfortunately, on Windows, it doesn't 
download the complete file so when we go to install the Mac OS it still needs additional files so it's looking on the internet so you're gonna have to have the right text in your bootloader for your Ethernet card on your motherboard for it to download the rest of the files that it needs okay all right when this gets done we'll come right back okay so we're done with that go ahead and press return and then we can quit out of here all right so with our USB in the computer we're gonna right click on make install .bat, run as administrator say yes okay and here we need to find our USB stick in this little menu up here mine is number two and then also we need to choose O not zero but O for open core installations instead of Clover so I'm gonna press number two and then O and hit enter and it's gonna warn you that all the data is gonna be lost on your flash drive so make sure it's one you want to erase okay and here we go yes alright so it is partitioning it now it needs to know where is the recovery package that we just downloaded so we'll go back over here and double click on Mac OS downloads public release double click this folder and here it is so what I want to do is just highlight it and I'm gonna go up here and copy path and then I'll right click it into here and hit enter and then this is going to build the vanilla USB stick and when this is done we'll come back okay so we're done with that so we'll press enter and we are done so now if we go over here we'll see this USB stick has our EFI folder in it isn't that cool now this you don't want to use it as it is because there's nothing really in it as you can see <laughs> there's no kex there's no SSDTs there's only one driver that we'll be using open runtime and uh, it has tools it has no config.plist so this is just our bare starting point now when you go to my other videos that talk about the particular motherboard you're interested in doing a Hackintosh on I will relate back to this video to making the USB stick vanilla and vanilla just means that there's no junk attached to your USB stick it is clean it is basically just like if you made it on an Apple computer and there's no extra files in it no weird stuff so it's as clean as you can get to install Hackintosh on your computer now from here you're going to then go to the other videos that show you how to actually build the EFI folder that you need for your particular motherboard okay so very important this video is strictly just how to make a vanilla USB bootloader on Windows okay I hope this was helpful for you guys out there that don't have a Mac and that are like well how can I do Hackintosh without a Mac computer if I can't make my USB stick well here's how you do it all right I hope you enjoyed this I hope it's educational for you guys and thank you so much and we'll see you on the next video